Kamusta? In this video, I will teach you how to replace the battery on this type of multimeter and how we can use it on our Toyota Wigo. I would not recommend that you buy a high-end or expensive digital multimeter unless you'll be using it regularly or you're a professional electrician or a full-time auto mechanic. Do not get the analog ones as well. Mahirap basahin. You can take care of your Vigo's electrical concern even with this cheap one which you can buy for a little over 100 pesos only. I've been using this device since I bought this unit in 2017. To replace the battery inside it, we must turn it off before we can pull out the test lead wires from it. Remove the three Phillips screws using this uh, micro screwdriver or something similar, then open its back cover. The 9 volt battery is right here and it's so easy to take out. These are the negative and positive terminals. This is our brand new battery. We just need to be mindful of its polarity before putting it in. Let's turn on this device to check if the low bat symbol has disappeared. It's gone. This is the multimeter's fuse. Put back the cover and screws. Ilagay din uli ang dulo ng mga test probes. Let's do a quick test on the voltage of the stock battery. Set the range selector to 20 of the direct current or DC settings. Use the tip of the test probes to touch the old battery's terminals. The multimeter will still give you the right measurement even if you use the red test probes on the negative terminal and the black one on the positive. It will just show a minus sign before the number to let you know that the polarity is in reverse. In testing our Wigo's battery, we can use the same settings to know if we still have a good battery or if it's time to replace it. If the engine is not running, a good battery is around 2.4 to 2.6 volts. When we turn on the engine, a good number is around 14 volts or very close to it, which is an indication that the alternator is charging our vehicle's battery.
We can also test the Wigo's head bulbs using a multimeter. Set the selector to 20K on its own setting. One is the default number. Test the probes by connecting the two tips to each other to get a baseline which is usually zero or close to it. Test the bulbs. The number on the LCD display should go back to your baseline figure which is zero in my case. If the number remains one, then it's a bad bulb. We can apply the same tests for fuses like what I showed you in the previous video. I hope marami kayong natutunan. Please consider subscribing. May God bless you. I'll see you soon.